Hey everyone, so I'm here with another Christmas party look for you and um, this one's a little bit more full on, this is like proper proper party look so I added you know novelty lashes that have these gorgeous little stars on the ends um, and they really flick out at the corners and I have some glitter put on over this area and also patted onto the centre of the lips. Um, and of course it has that beautiful gold shade which um, you can't really get away from during Christmas. So uh, yeah, I think this is a really fun look and really suits um, this time of the year since you know there are so many parties and do's um, going on. So I hope this gives you another idea of maybe what to wear at your own Christmas party or um you know anything else going on over the next month or so so i hope you enjoy it guys and watch on for the tutorial the tutorial <laughs> first step i apply a gold based eye primer this is max rubenesque paint pot on the entire lid area from lash line up to the brows and i also apply a little bit right underneath the lower lashes the paint pots are particularly good for anyone with oily lids or who suffers from a lot of creasing as they do set really well over the eyes and help prevent creasing throughout the day. Next I'm applying a strong metallic gold colour. I'm using Max Woodwinked eyeshadow. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous kind of mid-tone gold. It's not too dark for say a lot of pale skin girls. I'm applying that on the lid right up to where my crease is. I don't want to go above the crease. I'm also applying some of the woodwinked underneath the lower lashes. Next I apply a light cream colour just underneath my eyebrow arch and bring that down to where the gold ends. I'm also going to apply a little bit of this just onto the inner corner to help blend out the end of the woodwinked. Now using a dome shaped blending brush I'm picking up a browned burgundy colour and I'm going to Apply that above my crease, over where the woodwinked is, and blend it right from inner corner to outer corner. For this look I'm going to concentrate that brown in here on the inner corner where my eyebrow starts and bring it down almost in a straight line, brushing the shadow up into the brow hairs. For under the lower lashes I'm getting some of that brown burgundy colour on the tip of my blending brush and apply it to the outer two thirds or so of your lower lid. Get a black cold pencil and apply it to your waterline and your top waterline. And also apply a little bit above the lashes. Concentrate mostly on the outer half of your lid. Get your blackest matte black eyeshadow and apply that into the lash line using an angled brush to line your upper lid. Thin on the inner corner and getting thicker towards the outer corner. The black coal will really grab onto the black shadow and keep it in place and make it as intense as possible. Then apply some of this black along the lower lash line just press it in over the lashes and underneath to really get it in between each hair. Concentrate mostly on the outer two thirds. Next using a small crease brush start applying that black first on the outer corner and then up over the crease line blending in towards the inner section. Use a clean blending brush to start blending around the edges. Go back in with that small crease brush and apply more black closer to the crease line if you need to intensify it a little bit more. Apply mascara top and bottom. And next apply your favourite pair of party lashes.
Once you have your eyelashes on and your eyes completely finished, it's time to clear up any fallout, apply your favourite foundation, powders and blushers, and put on your favourite nude lipstick. And then, of course, do your eyebrows. that if you want that's probably plenty dramatic for most of you but I really want to glitz it up so I'm going to press some um, I'm going to press some glitter just onto the center of my lips it's going to be a reflex pearl by MAC And resist the urge to blot your lips together for this because it can really just like push the glitter into the lipstick which you don't want to do because it just kind of turns really bitty and grainy then. And the final final touch I'm going to apply some of that same glitter but on a larger brush just around this C area just above the outer end of my eyebrow and along the temple down just to the top of the cheekbone. Because the reflex glitters are so fine, it's not going to be as gaudy as if you were applying larger glitters over the face. And that's it done. So that's your full on, um, you know, dramatic Christmas party inspired look. I hope you like it guys. Thanks for watching.